And Paul George, yes, total sir. faith, because this is a total opportunity for Paul George to validate, vindicate who mm -hmm. he is. That whole playoff P conversation, which is often laced with ridicule, oh, he could get the last laugh if playoff P shows up in this moment right now. This is the quickest way to greatness. Think about it. In, in any impossible situation, when you make that the probable, when you all of a sudden take on Goliath and is victorious, you got something there. Now, Paul George is not going to do this by himself. Duh. Think about what pl Playoff P is going to be playing with. He's going to be playing with players that actually can help him get the job done. Clippers are shooting the best from the three-point line, 42%. Let's talk about who he has as weapons. Reggie Jackson, still in the building. Batum, still in the building. Kennard, still in the building. Combined, 54.5% from the three-point line. So what needs to happen is... Playoff P, we're going to get to that. But first, let's just go back to 28-8-4 P. You remember that guy? Mm. Third in MVP voting. Remember that guy? Top five conversation. Remember that guy? What a narrative pre-injury, even post-injury was. You could build a team around Paul George. Now, that conversation is often laced with ridicule. Paul, you want to get the last lab, big dog? This is that moment. Like, it's funny. It takes me back to when I was drafted. Because as soon as I got drafted, there were two thoughts in my mind. One, damn, I'm rich. Two, I did all those push-ups, all those sit-ups, all those bench presses. Got yelled at by grown men all those times for this moment. this moment. And it's a clean slate. Yeah, there's a history behind me, and yeah, there's a future in front of me. But right now, I can handle business, and I can write my own script. Oh, playoff P. Oh, 28, 8, and 4, Paul George. Show up. You're not by yourself. But if you lead the charge, oh, my God, you'll get the last laugh. Here's the first reason I have faith in Paul George before I get to my curiosity. I got faith in him because athletes by nature are some of the most competitive human beings on the planet. Say that again. If you played sports or if you still play sports, particularly basketball, there is no way you can watch Kevin Durant last night and not get a little bit of an itch. Mm. A little bit mm. of an itch to be mm. like, wait a second now. I'm, I'm a dude. Let me go. Like, <laughs> you got old man trying to go run pickup today at the YMCA <laughs> after watching KD. Like, I can still give y'all about 10, 10, and 10. Like, real talk, say I had to get out my basketball shoes, and y'all know I couldn't hoop. Um, so, Paul George, I think, is going to be motivated mm -hmm. by what he saw KD do. Yes. Now, to your point of vindication, you can redefine your legacy at least for a moment tonight. Mm. Tonight. Like, Paul George, you have been the butt of jokes dating back to last year, pandemic, Paul, all that stuff. Mm. But now tonight, you can rewrite things. Now, to Marcellus's point, it's not going to be all on Paul George, Reggie Jackson, Morris, Batum. But, Paul George, you're going to lead the headlines. Mm -hmm. We spent 15 minutes talking about Kevin Durant. We didn't mention Jeff Green's 27 points going seven for eight from three. Why? Because although Jeff Green, compared to his ability, probably had just as good, if not a better game than Kevin Durant, compared to Kevin Durant's ability, Thanks. Kevin Durant, you're the star, so you don't lead the headlines. Paul George, you're the star. You're going to lead the headlines. Now, so here's where my concern lies. Okay. Can Paul George do it on the road? Paul George in Utah versus Paul George in Staples. Y'all look at him, and then look at what he shoots. He shoots 49% if you round up in Staples. But on the road, where he's going to be playing tonight, he shoots 32% if you want to round up. That's a vast, vast, vast difference. I'm not convinced that PG can get it done mm. where he has to get it done. Can he get it done in the series? Maybe. But can he get it done on the road? He's never really been able to get it done on the road in Utah. So that's why I'm like, ah, I still have my doubt cell. I still have my reservations. Uh, uh, let me answer both of those for you in just one simple opportunity and simple statement. Paul George knows that he doesn't want to be cemented as a B-side. Mm. His skills are not a B-side. His game is not a B-side. But in perception, he's become a B-side, as you said, all these jokes. It's crazy how you could get caught up in those conversations and be the same guy. I bring you this example, which I uh, studied well and heard come out of his own mouth and Kurt Warner talking about perception. Remember, Kurt Warner, Super Bowl champion. Mm -hmm. Kurt Warner, MVP Kurt Warner, all of a sudden finds himself as a backup in New York, the football giants, Eli Manning in the building, all of a sudden has to now not only fight for a job somewhere in the league, but fight the perception that he deserves a job in the league because he became B-side. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden you look up, he's in Arizona. Once again, showing you that rare form that won him a Super Bowl before came that close. Won him an MVP before came that close. Paul George, 
well studied, understanding that last night Kevin Durant showed you no matter what y'all say, it's about what you do. Correct. I look at the situations of Kurt Warner or Kevin Durant, and I have countless others, and when it can change like that. The, the threshold, really the veil, the thin veil between failure and success just takes you to run through it. And those opportunities are rarely presented where you can flip the switch, where you can convert everyone's mindset in one moment. It ain't going to be just about this game. I'm going to be real. Because if Paul George shows out in this game, we win tonight, we're going to move the goalpost to the next game. Of course. Which we have to do. But that means are you up to the challenge? Are you ready to answer the bell? Last time I checked, the bell keeps ringing. You got to keep going, going. But the greats, and Paul George has not yet become one of the greats, but the greats can move with the goalposts. Yes. Think about Thanks. Kevin Durant. That's what I'm we moved about. the goalposts. I was the main proponent of moving the goalposts. Mm -hmm. Okay, you won two finals MVPs. Yeah, but you had a league MVP on your team with you. Right, Let's right. see if you can do it by yourself. I moved the goalposts. Yep. And KD, he stepped towards that goalpost as well. Even if the, the Nets lose the series, we're still going to go back and raise questions. Mm -hmm. If KD mm -hmm. comes out and lays an egg in game six, we're still going to be like, huh, wait a second now. Paul George, the first step, though, he has to make is in winning this one. My other curiosity, though, still comes in. Remember, Paul George, prior to joining the Clippers, playoff record 34 and 42. Minimum of 75 games, that is the second worst among active players. 34 and 42. He wins 45% of the time prior to joining the Clippers, a.k.a. prior to having Kawhi Leonard. Bad teammates. So when I look at it, mm -hmm. if he has to be the focal point on offense, remember there's a dude named Spidey Mitchell on the other side. Who's compromised? Who He is compromised. Say it again. But PG is going to be compromised having to fully play both ends of the court. Because now, remember, Kawhi would check Spidey at times at in times. pivotal moments. Say it. Now, PG, you're the best defender on the floor. Mm. Not Pat Bev, not mm. Reggie Jackson. It's you, PG. So if Spidey gets hot, who has to go guard him? You, PG. But who still got to go get buckets on the offensive end? You, PG. Now you got to do both. The question is, is he up to the task? I'll say yes for a game, maybe. But I don't think it's going to be this game in Utah. Look, we don't need your, your thinly veiled love. Like, if it's just going to be for, for 48 minutes, and then it's going to be like, nah, I don't believe in them, you ain't got faith. Because this faith going to let you walk on water, not just one step the whole way back to the shore, <laughs> baby. So if you don't believe, you don't believe. It's all good. We need more of this. We need mid more big board A blocks. What's believe look like to you for PG tonight? Is he going to give you 35, 10, and 5? Is you he going to give you 30? Is he going to give you 40? Because mm. you know it's probably going to take him outdueling Spidey. So what's belief look like to you in this game? In this game, I'm not going to lie and I'm not going to duck. It's not about measurable numbers. It's not about metrics for Paul George. Okay. It's about him being a conductor because he has the deepest team remaining. Don't forget that. He has a team that when they beat this team, our point differential, 40 points. Their point differential when they beat us, nine points. Mm -hmm. Like, we got squad. We lost Kawhi, we lost our leader. We lost our cherry on top. But we still got a general left. Trust me. And that's Paul George. What I need from you is all you have, and more importantly, all we have. If he can go out there and just lead the symphony to play the finely tuned music, that's a Kennard, that's a Morris, that's a Reggie Jackson, that's a Terrence Mann. He needs all those guys to step up, kind of in that Jeff Green role.